Hello, my name is Captain Kelly Muniz, Commanding Officer of Media Relations Division of the Los Angeles Police Department. This critical incident community briefing is intended to provide you with information about a law enforcement related injury, also known as a Leary, that occurred in Hollenbeck Division in the city of Los Angeles on April 26, 2024, at around 12.15 p.m. A Leary is a use of force incident where an individual requires hospitalization. You're about to see relevant video footage and learn about other evidence and police procedures related to the case so you can have a better understanding of what occurred based on what we know right now. The LAPD conducts very thorough use of force investigations, which typically require investigators to interview multiple witnesses, view numerous hours of video footage, and analyze a significant amount of forensic evidence. We are still at the very early stages of this investigation, which can often take up to a year to complete, and our understanding of the incident may change as this additional evidence is collected, analyzed, and reviewed. We also do not draw any conclusions about whether the officers acted consistent with our policies in the law until all the facts are known and the investigation is complete. A word of caution. The images and information you're about to see may be disturbing. When a police officer uses force to arrest a suspect or defend against an attack, it can be graphic and difficult to watch. In addition, there may be strong language used by those shown in the video. Viewer discretion is advised, especially for young children and sensitive viewers. Northeast Division patrol officers responded to an ambulance shooting radio call in the 100 block of East Avenue 36. The suspect had reportedly shot his brother and fled the scene. That suspect was identified as John Lopez. The victim provided Lopez's last known direction of travel and described him as a male Hispanic wearing a gray t-shirt with a black long sleeve undershirt and blue jeans. Here is the 911 call and corresponding radio broadcast. LA City 911 operator 566. Um, I'm here to make a report on, 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 a, on an adult. What kind of report? Um, he, he has a, a weapon on him. I, I already got shot by him. When did you get shot? Just a couple, couple minutes ago. Okay, you need a paramedic? No, I don't need a paramedic. My my mom's already taking me, but um, okay, I just well, had to make a report on them. Okay, sir, you got shot. You need an ambulance. Yes. What's your address. My, my, I don't need an ambulance. I'm just here to make the report because I'm already going to to the, okay. the paramedics. I mean, I, okay, well, sir, if I'm gonna send the police, you need to be there. Are you gonna leave? Okay, well, I've been shot. You want me to wait, wait for the officer here? Well, okay, okay, yeah, 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 okay, okay. Well, I need to know where you're gonna go. Yes, okay, okay, go okay, 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 bring them. Go to the hospital, and then they'll call us, and we'll respond out there. But where's the guy that shot okay, you? Okay, Where's the guy that shot you? Uh, the guy that shot me, we want his information. Where is he? Um, he just he just took off running. Okay. He took off running. Give me your address. Okay, the address would be 1 East Avenue 36. Okay. Well, let me get you the paramedics so they can come to you, and the police will go to okay. you. Okay. Okay, stay on okay, the Okay, okay, sounds good, but okay, make it okay, as hold possible. On, hold Thank on. you. Yes, we're going to go. Thank you. Okay. Bye. No, don't hang up. No, don't hang up. You can't give on. I mean, okay. So your brother, what is his name? My brother, his name's Jonathan. Jonathan Lopez. Jonathan Lopez, and how old is he? Yeah. Um, I don't really know how old is he, but his his birth year is 1989. Okay. And what color clothing is he wearing? Um, he's wearing um jeans, dark blue, long sleeve shirt, black, and with a top regular T-shirt. Um, gray. Black long sleeve shirt and a gray shirt under yeah. it. Yeah. No, 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 no. He has a black long sleeve on the bottom, and a regular T-shirt on top of the long sleeve. Okay, so it's gray and it's gray and black. Yeah. Okay. His long black sleeve. Yeah. Okay. Already. And, and he has long hair. Which way was he last seen going? Uh, he was going towards like um, you could say towards Broadway. Last seen towards Broadway. That'd be like, yeah, going towards the yeah, going towards um, yeah, link like yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Alrighty. We're, we're going to get, like I said, lights and sirens, police and paramedics, okay? Alright, alright, alright. All right. Thank you. Yeah, thank okay, you. Bye-bye. Northeast units 11895, 11895. Ambulance shootings has occurred. 
East Avenue 36. One East Avenue 36. Suspect is the brother. Code 3 incident, T205, or 1179. Upon arrival, the officers obtained a detailed description of Lopez and provided this information to other responding units in the area. Shortly after this information was provided, an air unit located Lopez riding a bicycle in the area of Pasadena Avenue and Avenue 28 and directed responding patrol units to his location. All right, guys, uh, I have eyes on him still, and uh, he's going to be crossing through the freeway on ramps here. He's kind of making his way, uh, kind of making his way westbound. Moments later, Lopez entered the southbound 5 freeway and traversed across multiple lanes for over a mile. As Northeast and Hollenbeck patrol units were attempting to create a traffic break on the 5 freeway, Lopez exited the 5 freeway at Mission Road and continued riding in and out of traffic eastbound on Mission Road lanes. After Lopez turned north onto Daly Street, a Hollenbeck patrol unit utilized their patrol vehicle to strike Lopez's bicycle, which caused him to lose control of the bike and fall onto the roadway. He was subsequently taken into custody without further incident. A portion of this incident was captured on the responding officer's digital in-car video. Most marked vehicles assigned to patrol have a camera mounted inside which activates when the emergency lights are turned on. The camera can also be manually activated. These digital in-car cameras have a buffer of video without audio. Upon activation, the camera goes back one minute and starts recording. Roger, at the scene, was there any chasing or victim? 11042A1, roger that. There was a victim hit and there were chasings recovered. Is it cancer? Yeah, he's getting tired, man. He's gonna gas out. Look up, uh, no, really, Bro, just pull he, over, man. Stop. Just stop, man. Just stop, man. You're not going to go anywhere. 7 to the for a victim, or can you describe maybe his hat? hat if there's any uh, specific oh, detail. Go ahead. Just pull over, man. Just stop. You're not gonna go anywhere, man. Come on. Get on anywhere near location. We are continuing uh, five southbound, uh, heading toward the ten interchange. Come on, man. Just give up, man. Just pull, to, just pull to the side, man. Make sure he doesn't double. Get on anywhere still southbound five towards the oh, eleven ten interchange. Got a unit behind us. Thirty-two south facing unit pulled up. The others coming code three from the eastbound ten at San Pedro. Wait, 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 wait. Just pull to the side, man. Stop already. You're not gonna go anywhere, man. Come on. Either anyone is falling impossible. Shooting suspect southbound five towards the one ten interchange. I don't want him. I don't want him to jump down here and say. Alright, he's making a mission exit off the hill on five. You're not gonna go anywhere, man. Come on. Towards the scene, the mission exit towards the southbound five. Correction from the southbound five. Stop, stop. Okay, you 
Supervisor Daily Amarango for shooting suspect. Hit him with the door. 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 A portion of this incident was also captured on the responding officer's body-worn video. Body-worn video cameras are used by most officers assigned to field duties. They are worn at chest level and capture a general perspective within line of sight from that angle. The angle of the camera prohibits viewers from seeing everything the officers saw and experienced. Upon activation, both audio and video will turn on. However, body-worn video cameras have a buffer of video without audio from the previous two minutes prior to activation. This feature is designed to capture incidents that occur suddenly where an officer doesn't immediately activate the camera. Here is body-worn video from the officers involved in this incident. I got his hands. What else? I got his hands. I got his hands. Grab it. Grab it. We're good. Take it out. Take it out. Chill. Come on, bro. Come on. Hold it. Los Angeles Fire Department paramedics responded and transported Lopez to a local hospital to be treated for complaint of pain to his knees. While at the hospital, Lopez was treated for multiple abrasions by medical staff and ultimately cleared for booking. He was arrested for attempted murder. Department policy defines any force option which results in an injury requiring hospitalization or death as a categorical use of force. In accordance with that policy, LAPD's Force Investigation Division assumed investigative responsibility for this incident upon learning of the initial determination that Lopez required hospitalization. Investigators recovered Lopez's semi-automatic handgun and ammunition at scene and booked them as evidence. 
The victim of the shooting was treated for non-life-threatening injuries at a local hospital and was held overnight for observation. On April 30th, 2024, the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office filed the following charge against Lopez. One count of attempted murder. John Lopez is a 24-year-old resident of Los Angeles. In the next several months, the LAPD will continue to investigate and analyze this incident. We will continue interviewing any new witnesses that may come forward and complete any forensic tests. After the investigation is complete, our Critical Incident Review Division will forward their findings to the Chief of Police, who will make his recommendation to the Civilian Board of Police Commissioners. The board will evaluate the evidence to determine whether the officer's tactics and use of force in this instance met the high standards expected of all Los Angeles police officers. If you would like more information on how the LAPD investigates all serious uses of force, visit lapdonline.org where you can find the LAPD's use of force policy and procedures. Thank you for taking the time to view this critical incident community briefing.